A new report from Colorado River researchers is raising urgent concerns about the future of the West's two largest reservoirs, Lake Mead and Lake Powell, which together supply water and hydropower to more than 40 million people. As of September 2025, the two lakes are holding just 30% of their combined capacity, a stark reminder of the growing crisis across the Colorado River basin. The analysis warns that unless policymakers act swiftly, the reservoirs could fall to dangerously low elevations before new long-term water management rules take effect in 2026, threatening both water deliveries and electricity generation for millions of households, farms, and tribes that rely on the system. For decades, Lake Mead and Lake Powell have functioned as the river's emergency savings account, storing water in wetter years to buffer shortages in dry ones, but hotter temperatures, persistent drought and chronic overuse have drained those reserves to alarming levels. Experts caution that another year of extreme dryness could push the system toward collapse, with Lake Powell at risk of losing the ability to generate hydropower at Glen Canyon Dam and Lake Mead facing the prospect of Deadpool, the point where water can no longer pass through Hoover Dam to downstream users. Negotiations are already underway among the seven basin states, Mexico, tribal nations and federal officials to establish a new framework for dividing the river's shrinking supply once the current rules expire in 2026. But talks have been contentious and slow-moving, with states clashing over who should shoulder the deepest cuts. The authors of the report argue that waiting for a final agreement is too risky and that immediate interim measures are needed to stabilize the reservoirs and avoid catastrophic drops in elevation. The fate of these reservoirs extends beyond drinking water and power. They are vital to agriculture in one of the nation's most productive regions and to ecosystems that depend on the river's flow. For now, the lakes remain dangerously low but operational, and researchers stress that policymakers do not have the luxury of time, warning that every delay narrows the choices available and increases the likelihood of painful consequences for millions across the Southwest.